How's it going, everybody? So, uh, coming back at this, this is going to be another one of our podcasts, but this time we have a little bit of a different of a crew. We got me, Nick, and we also have... Jake. And... Pat. Pat. He's not saying his name is Steven for, for once. It is crazy. <laughs> who would have guessed? Uh, but yeah, so um, this one, uh, we actually had a suggestion. I am not... don't remember who it's by. I think it might be by Crazy Fish, but on one of our other podcasts about our post-E3 reactions, and we know it's a little late, and also I apologize for some of the audio, but... We have a fan going right now because we don't want to use our AC, and it'll set the <laughs> window open with rain. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. But, but we're here, so but we're that's here. the important thing. We're healthy, and that's also <laughs> important. So to start things, <coughs> no, just kidding. Jake's <laughs> dying. So to start things off, we're gonna have Pat tell us about what he thought about some of the Sony stuff that he saw. What do you think about that? Post E three. So it was hype as fuck. Uh huh. <laughs> um, early candidate for E uh, three winner, Sony. Um, the first thing that I saw that was super exciting was the new Spider-Man game. Wait, there's really? a Spider-Man game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Dope. New Spider-Man game for the PS4. Um, it blends, like, all three types of, like, fun gameplay that I have. Um, so it's b heavily based on, like, quick time events kind of thing, which is typically not my thing. Mm -hmm. But it enhances it by having all those quick time events be super action-y. And, and the thing is... awesome. Not to interrupt, but it's interlaced with actual combat, too. Yeah. Which is awesome. That's so, like, true. Yeah. Um, so we have that. That's awesome. The You showed us one that was... What was it Anthem, I think it was called? Yeah, Anthem. That was part of Microsoft's, I uh, think. Oh, Microsoft's? Okay. But still, I mean, it's for the PS4. It'll be on the PS4. Mm -hmm. And I think it's on PC, too. Anthem is amazing. And it's the reason that Mass Effect Andromeda was garbage. Because um, all of Bioware's good writers were on Anthem. Um, I like to see it as a cross between Destiny, um, Destiny, Mass Effect, and Iron Man. The 2008 beautiful game that was Iron Man. Um, I was telling Jake before that it's a cross between Mass Effect's combat system along with the exploration and map kind of Feel, feel of destiny yeah, and sure. um, you just look like Iron Man. Mm -hmm. Fucking what, awesome. what more can you ask for? In the really? Game? Yeah. Exactly. Like, <laughs> what more can you ask for? Plus, the, like you were saying, the customization in that is oh like yeah. Wild. They, from what sweet. I've seen, the customization is amazing. So you can totally so, customize your. From what I understand, it's a class system, but within those classes, are full customization yep. on like your type. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, um, and what's even doper about that? Is the flat? Is the fire works underwater? <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so there is <laughs> that SpongeBob. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the, uh, the two, the two classes that they showcased in the trailer was the Ranger and the Colossus. I yeah, think Colossus, called it. I believe. Um, but the Ranger is literally all balanced, so literally you can spec it however you want. You could be like a ranged. That's awesome. Uh, fighter, or you could literally make it like a sword fighter, like a kind brawler. Of thing. Like, super oh, that's cool. Cool. Um, that's me. Interesting. From what I've seen so far and what I've heard. Now, do you um, think there's going to be, like, cheese compositions within that that just kind of, like... Are they going to balance I don't it think fairly that, well? I don't think there's a competitive mode Yeah, no, so I just far. mean, like, um... Okay, that would be sweet the best, if they were. Like, for the best performance, do you think oh, that something is going to stand out, or do you think they're going to balance so. it? Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, in a game like that where there's not so much competition, player versus player... That's true. You're not going to... Yeah. Like, you're going to see people dry, do yeah, what they yeah, want. For sure. Like, um, like Which is a I good wanna, aspect. If yeah. I want to play a tank character yeah. in Overwatch, I have to play Reinhardt, Diva, exactly. whatever. And like, when, when you think about games in that sense that are like kind of like single player, or like even when you like delve into co op, you don't really have like that, that competitive drive. Like when I played Skyrim, I'm not making like, <laughs> my like max spec. Right. Like, trying, exactly. Like, I'm trying to have Best fun with that, customize, have good, yeah. like fun with the story. So, yeah. So that's yeah. that's yeah. what I kind of see from yeah, that. for sure. Um, another exciting thing. Monster Hunter, yeah. Is oh, I saw Monster Hunter to yeah. consoles. Which is yeah, awesome. I saw that, and not just handhelds. Well, Monster Hunter Three was for the Wii U, but then again, the Wii U barely even counts as a count, like a console. <laughs> well, right, point. but yeah, I'm yeah. saying like it's it's grand scale coming to all consoles yeah. and PC which is, and everything, which is awesome because mm -hmm. Monster Hunter is addicting um, as hell for sure. Also, Jake saw a game with a bike. What about that true. one? Like that? Okay, so... So Jake has was, a fetish for motorcycles, yeah. you guys don't Days know. Days Gone, very interesting. I like the concept of it a lot. Um, just with having, like, an open world zombie game, but like Pat was saying to me earlier, it's not... You're not gonna get, like, this Call of Duty effect where it's just, it's like... It's not Nazi zombies. It's not waves and waves of enemies that are just kind of, like, pushing, like, oh, how far can I go with this? How many hits is it gonna take to kill this one? 
it's like what is it one hit to kill every like grunt. yeah yeah and, and, it's, and it's got more of like a far cry feel to it yeah so there's it's, story there's yeah like, yeah <laughs> it's not just let's yeah. let's survive the zombie apocalypse it's actually exactly. let's work it's actually let's use this and use mm-hmm. different like creative ways like we saw in the trailer you literally had zombies chasing other people away so you can free your friend yeah that's creativity at, mm-hmm. at its finest right there and it's yeah. getting kind of gadgety, like yeah, little division yeah. mechanics there. I know it's not by the same uh, producer, yeah. but all right. And way. then big last one that totally. I have a feeling. Totally before, wins. before we move on to N- Nintendo, which we kind of have to do because it's in our name. <laughs> uh, the one that totally, totally wins. Oh, I know. E three. E three for mm-hmm. Sony. I, as I told Jake and Nick before we started recording. All Sony had to do was put the name of this <laughs> title on a sticky note on the stage, and they would have won E3. Mm-hmm. Full up, gr- from from the ground remake of Shadow of the Colossus, which is the defining game of the PlayStation 2. Mm-hmm. I oh, say. easy, easy. Um, that game was 15 years ahead of its time. Mm-hmm. There's still mechanics in that game that are being, like... Remastered. Quote-unquote yeah. reinvented. Yeah, yeah. Like right now in new games, so yeah. like that game was so ahead of its time for sure. Yeah. yeah. When I uh, w- watched back at it, I saw one of the endings, like the like the final like the final part of Shadow of the Colossus, like the last half hour, and I was like, "Holy crap! This ending is like they thought of this in like what, like two thousand and five or whatever." Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know what year it came out. Yeah. Fact check me on that. <laughs> but it was insane. Like I was just like, "Well, you know what? This my childhood wasn't as good as I thought it was before because <laughs> that no, that was like intense stuff though." I mean, yeah. Like, uh, if you Absolutely. haven't seen it, heavily suggest going going there. But are you guys good before we transition? I think so. so. I think so. All right. So now, because it's in our name, and because oh wait, I'm, okay, no, sorry. one go, more. Go, go. Sorry. Um, Final Fantasy 15 fishing game VR. <laughs> <laughs> Take my money right now. Just wins E3. <laughs> yep. Final Fantasy fishing. <laughs> yep. F F F. Anyways, yeah. So we're, we're, we're gonna move on to uh, the Nintendo portion of it, which is something that I watched uh, pretty. Pretty closely, obviously, but then again, I grew up with a lot of the consoles and everything. I know some people saw it. And obviously the first one that'll be very easy to talk about, Super Mario Odyssey. We take a little hat, we throw it in a dinosaur, BAM! We're the dinosaur! <laughs> Thoughts Power to guys. the people. I That's know, right? what I say. Uh, no, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, Nintendo ranked it amongst, uh, what was it, Super Mario Sunshine 2? Or, wait, what was, there were two other games that ranked it with. And they're like what the top Mario games like that were like basically I, I don't know it, 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 <laughs> I don't know what he's talking there's about. There's this graph, and it has like these timelines of like here's the games of Nintendo and like I mean technically on um, one of our former podcasts I did say that Super Mario Sunshine was my most overrated game. Oh well, yeah, well, I, never if, mind. If, if it triggers people, I mean but, I thought I thought it was a fun game. I just don't understand the whole hype about it. Sorry, go on. Either way, it looks absolutely amazing. The gameplay mechanics, just the creativity within it. Oh, it's um, amazing. And if you saw, the whole city is actually, um, I know they mentioned it, I think, in the treehouse. The whole city is, like, based off of, like, old, like, Donkey Kong and, like, Mario references. Like, the like the person who was singing was uh, was Pauline, which was actually the person they tried huh. to rescue from Donkey Kong in the original uh, Donkey Kong game. And um, also, like, everything else is, like, a nod for, like, the Donkey Kong franchise, like, the Donkey Kong series, like, overall. Even though I didn't play a lot of the games, I thought that was cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty hype. But the one that I'm actually super excited about is uh, is uh, Xenoblade Two. Can I can I ask a question Sorry. before we move What's on? What's up? Why is Mario only two feet tall? <laughs> <laughs> Are you there's, there's, they there's, have there's, next to full size people. There's a game theory on that. Apparently, it only goes up to their thighs. Apparently, he's five one, and the other people are only ten feet tall. There's a game theory on that. Okay. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's decently convincing. <laughs> so, so he's. Five foot one, uh-huh. and they're ten feet tall. They're ten feet tall. <laughs> you know, I deal. buy it. I buy it easily. Okay, but yeah. So um, the next step is evolution. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But no. So I um I didn't play uh, Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii. That's that's on my list. But I played Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X, and I've watched a couple of playthroughs of a uh, Xenoblade Chronicles for the Wii. And even though I'm still new to the series, I'm kind of excited what else they can do. And even though it doesn't look like it's gonna. It looks like it's still unpolished and it still has like a lot of work that needs to be mm-hmm. and needs to get done. But it seems like the main concept of Xenoblade game is still there. I loved Chronicles X, um, even though that there's some things that I were I was very frustrated on. But it seems like what I saw from the Treehouse is they're like correcting it and they're working on it. And I mean, there's other games that are coming out also. I think there was uh, what's the other one? 
I will say this, that Sushi Striker or whatever, that one confused the hell out of me. But <laughs> hype, though. Like, it's everything. It's every <laughs> game in one. There were there was RPG elements. There's a there's Fighting like, game mechanics. But not only that, but it's like, uh, it's like a... Not a platformer, but there was some like there was some mechanic going on there where you're just like cruising along. Like it was like it was like a fighting game. I don't know in the style of like a real time Pokemon kind of thing. Because yeah. like you're yeah, doing yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. well uh, Digimon. Check your Digimon, I saw some yeah, Digimon yeah, that trailer. There was Digimon. No, but I mean like just <laughs> I, know, I have a Pokemon fan at heart, but fuck yeah. that shit. <laughs> just looking, just looking at the screen while they were doing yeah. stuff. It was just it like, oh, like here's it. this move. Yeah. Ah. And you know, let's finish the whole thing off, the whole trailer with the Beyblade logo. Yeah, like very <laughs> powerful statements by that game. So, oh god, yeah. I mean, I mean, it was it was really cool. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that Nintendo had out. I'm not really excited for Fire Emblem Wars, but then again, I'm not a huge Dynasty Warriors mm-hmm. fan. I like Fire Emblem, not a huge fan of Dynasty Wars, but it, it looks good. I think I think they're gonna do a good job with it. Okay. Jake thought that one was Kingdom Hearts. That's something we do have to talk about, though. The Kingdom Hearts yes. trailer yeah. looks. Dope. Very much. But so. another thing that I do want to talk about that is one thing um, seems to come up with a lot of E3. So many people are focusing on bringing hype and excitement to a lot of these games that they're bringing. And one of people's like, oh, they want to get it right away, which is cool and whatnot. But then you have the thing like Kingdom Hearts, where I think it was talked about in like 2015. And what? Yeah. It's 2017. We're still not probably going to see it for another like year and a half. Like... You can't you can't like keep these games going like hyped for this long of a time. Some so many people are trying to be focused on winning E3, yeah. but they're not focused on actually delivering the games within the time frame that they're yeah. supposed to. See, I've always been one to for me and developers, I would always say take as much time as you need to get yeah. a polished game. Whenever you have it, a yeah. game that's rushed, Sonic Boom. It ne- yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like it turns out to be a Sonic Boom, and yeah. it's, it's not worth it. Like I say, if it like, if you end up losing hype. Let your game speak for itself. Polish yeah. it to the point of perfection. Release it, and then you don't have to worry about building hype because give out be review there. copies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonic Boom, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Let people review the game before it comes out. <laughs> Sonic Boom. <clears throat> yeah, actually go through beta. <laughs> go through. Don't testing release the game in alpha. <laughs> <laughs> what? There was a bug in that game. <laughs> I feel like they're like. I love, I love, I love, I love the, day, the day one like knuckles glitch that was found. Oh, man. It's ridiculous. But anyway, so yeah, um, yeah. So to backtrack. Like, no, no. To backtrack, going like Kingdom Hearts looks mm-hmm. awesome. There's so many. There's so many cool games that are coming out. I'm trying to think. I know Ever Oasis also looks cool that mm-hmm. Nintendo is developing for. There's another game that was like Yoshi Story that we actually were playing for the channel. That people were uh, that they're making like for the Switch. That looks super cool as well. There's a. It, start, it seems like Square Enix is given a yeah. lot of third-party support with the Switch, which is awesome. Do you want to go into the of, Switch a little bit? I mean, we don't need it. I mean, I just kind of want to give it, because it's supposed to be like yeah. a whole E3 reaction, because yeah. I don't want to center it straight for Nintendo. No, I get that. Because the whole thing was like, it was super exciting, and like, I also saw during the same time, there's a Skyrim trailer with a guy holding a fucking Master Sword. That, like, like, excited the hell. Go. Go ahead. I know you have something to say. Undertale. Wait, what? It's coming to PS4. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, dang. I just remembered that. So I'm getting it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never played it to this day. So. Um, it's legendary. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm fully aware. The game has a really good reputation. <laughs> and before I forget, the one game that... The one thing that Big Mike would kill us if we didn't talk about was the Metroid, Metroid that's Prime. coming out. The, the Metroid Prime 4 that's being developed. We don't know much about that. They just put the title, this whole Shadow of the Colossus theory that Pat had. But... The Metroid game that, or the Metroid game that's coming out for the 3DS, going back to its like OG roots, 2D and whatnot. <laughs> you want Metroid? We have two. <laughs> <laughs> Which looked so sick. Like honestly, I think the company did better. I looked, I uh, in preparation for this podcast, I looked back at Nintendo's E3 podcast, um, E3 stuff from last year, and I'll be honest, Nintendo shit the bed, like yeah. bad. It was Breath of the Wild, mm. Breath of the Wild. Fire Emblem t- Tokyo Mirage also, Sessions yeah. or whatever. <laughs> whatever. Not even worth talking about. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Breath of the Wild. To be Some fair, Breath of the side. Wild. Yeah. Yeah. But Dragon Quest Seven, which is awesome. Yeah. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it was literally 90% Breath of the Wild. Not uh-huh. actually, but and then maybe like 1% other shit. So Nintendo definitely stepped up their E3 game and whatnot, I but agree. I think Sony killed it. The, Hopefully um, they'll follow through with Kingdom Hearts, though, because I hate it. I don't want people to like it. Excited and then not see it delivered. Dragon yeah. Quest is coming for the Switch, though, I think. And Skyrim on dope. the Switch. Yeah. Um, with Skyrim on the Switch, they have Amiibo support. So basically, you're going to be able to get costumes for your Amiibos. Which is awesome. Yeah. Like- uh, <laughs> downside, though. Uh, not all hype. Uh, paid mods? Yeah. The fuck? 
Yeah, yeah, that's not cool. Not too much a fan. Um, <laughs> you have the CEO of Nintendo saying, "You're gonna pay for your titty mods." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, he didn't actually okay. say it. It was just the <laughs> meme going around of um, Reggie's like angry face, and it just says, "Skyrim getting you have to pay for your titty mods." <laughs> <laughs> oh god. But yeah, okay. So we'll wrap this up now because it's getting around the time for the other uh, for the longer podcast that we've done. So final closing thoughts, Pat. Uh, maybe who won E3 in your mind? Yeah. Sony. Sony won. Alright, cool. Jake, so mine... Closing thoughts, uh, who won, okay, whatever. Okay, closing thoughts. I'm not going to actually give a console or like PC on who won, yeah. but I'm going to say, first time I've ever said this for any yeah. like E3, yeah. EA won because <laughs> of Battlefront 2. Oh, Purely because yeah. of Battlefront yeah. 2. Amazing. Like, I I don't want to believe because it is EA. I don't want to yeah. give it like, I really don't. What are you talking about? Hard. Being a Jedi is DLC, man. <laughs> <laughs> but all the, okay, all the DLC is free. All of it for the game. Oh, okay, that was smart. official. So that's, that's like amazing. That's smart. And um, like it, uh, it's just it looks so amazing. They're bringing space combat back. Heroes across all eras. Like I, I, I can't not give into the hype. You know. Yeah. So I'm gonna say yeah. EA won instead okay. of like a console or whatever so <laughs> yeah a little out of the way but nick yeah. what are your thoughts for me obviously one? i know you probably you probably think i would say nintendo won but honestly just because they shot the bed so much last year and i didn't think this one was much of an improvement i kind of i mean a lot of the things that i were excited of i saw that they're making a martin luigi superstar saga remake where you can kind of go through with bowser's minions and whatnot oh, that's I did okay see that, yeah i thought that that was okay but i mean it was nothing that was too like nothing that too much like, yeah, yeah nothing that really hyped me up that was yeah. just like hell yeah like it did breath of the wild i got so. you um, I would actually say Sony as well because okay. even though I haven't played a lot of those games, like I saw what they can do, and I'm actually really excited what they can do too. So sure. um, in the comments, let us know if you agree with us or not. Uh, maybe in your mind, who won E3? Yeah, maybe in your yeah, maybe in your mind, who uh, who do you think could have done better? Uh, what games you're hyped for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Pat, are you, excited for, are you hyped for the Xbox car? <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys want to say any last things? Um, thanks for joining us, basically. Oh, uh, yeah, one last thing. What the fuck, Microsoft? Why are you bringing back Xbox original controllers? Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> Those things suck. All right. Brilliant. That's it. <laughs> Rant over. Sign off. Bye-bye.